Continuous integration shortens the time to release and ensures easy test configuration maintenance, but testing can be complicated. With an open source automation testing tool like Taurus and its integration with other continuous integration tools like Jenkins, continuous testing is made easy. Here you will learn how to run a load test through Taurus using Jenkins Pipeline. Jenkins Pipeline is a suite of plugins which supports implementing and integrating continuous delivery pipelines into Jenkins. Using Jenkins Pipeline, you will be able to integrate your performance test into your continuous delivery process easily and smoothly. In this demonstration, we will see how to create the Jenkins Pipeline project integrated with Taurus script. So to create the Jenkins Pipeline project, click on the new item menu option and then you can select Pipeline. The file name is Taurus underscore Jenkins Then uh, click OK. Now here you will see the GitHub option. So select GitHub option and select the GitHub URL. So the GitHub URL is available here. So I copy the GitHub URL. And paste it here. And then after you scroll down, your that wants this pipeline script. You can choose the pipeline script and pipeline script from the C. And then uh, select the GitHub option under source code management option. And then once you select GitHub, it would ask for the repository URL. Again, you can paste the same thing here. And then select the credentials if you have used credentials to log in. And then uh, here it would ask for the file name. So the file name here is pipeline groovy. So this is the pipeline example groovy. So this is a script. Uh, in the script, we have three stages. One is the build stage, wherein we don't see any action over there and a performance test we have integrated with blaze meter test so the test file is available in this directory and the file that i'm going to use for executing the taurus command is taurus underscore jmeter script one dot yaw. so this is a windows command so i'm executing it through batch so bzt taurus underscore jmeter underscore script 3 dot yaml hyphen report will give us the report in the place meter parallelly we are also uh, executing another test here uh, it is analysis uh, step so in this analysis step uh, it would wait for one minute and then uh, we have a stage deploy so in the stage deploy also we don't have any information but then in this pipeline script, you can see that there are three stages. One is build stage, the second one is performance test, and the third one is deploy stage. Now we use this script to execute there under Jenkins. So I select the file name, go back to the Jenkins, give the file name here, and also, uh, here github hook trigger for GIT uh, source code management polling will help us if there are any changes that was done in the script it will automatically trigger this Jenkins pipeline test so this is what this option is for and once you have 
enabled those options now click save so that the project is created now we execute the project by clicking build now and you can see here the build has started it's getting executed and you can also see here the first stage build stage has been started the second stage performance test is in uh, progress now we go to console output to see in the text format as well so here you can see in the text format so it has retrieved the pipeline example dot gui file from the github and then it is running on Jenkins. You can also see those pipelines, so what have we discussed in the script. And you can see the path from where the file is picked up. This was mentioned in the script. And here you can see in the analysis step, it will sleep for one minute. That was sleep 60 seconds we have mentioned in the script. Now the script is getting executed and the result will also be stored in the place meter because of this report option. You can also click on this uh, place meter option to see the report in the place meter. Here it shows how many virtual users, how many are successful, how many are failed, how much response time average response time it has taken and here's the cumulative report now you can see there are 10 virtual users and how many hits are successful so it keeps executing this uh, based on the thread group that we have set up go back to the stages so here it's, you can see the so it successfully got executed you can also see success you can also click logs and you can go to the logs and see the information so now here you can see that the deploy stage is also executed so it took 208 milliseconds uh, for the performance test it took three minutes 19 seconds so all the stages are executed in this project now let's go to console output and see the output uh, what is being displayed over there. So you can see here those data we have already checked and now it gives the final percentile as usual what we see in the Taos console and the place meter test. So here you can see the place meter report by clicking on this you can go and see the final report on place meter which is more detailed and easy to understand so you can see how many virtual users uh, were used how many hits per second the average response time and the load graph as well as response time graph. so you can click on the other tabs to find out uh, more details on the placement thank you